Is this Kyle approved or what? Oh yeah. Do you think we should paint Wago? Because I want to, but Hayden doesn't want to. So. I just feel like it's a turd, dude. It's not worth it. Bro, I'm talking about a budget paint job. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Just like a budget. I mean, it'll still look better than what it does now, I think, but yeah. it's got some little bit of body work, you know, but. What's going on, everybody? So I know a lot of y'all have been waiting for the wagon build. We're gonna be building the engine today. Uh, the reason why I've been waiting for so long is, I told you guys originally, uh, we ordered uh, main size or stock size, like standard size main bearings for it, and uh, Kyle had this crank turned. So the bearings finally showed up after about like nine days, Carlos said. Had Carlos ordered those, and uh, we were supposed to get um, some thrust washers with them also, and they didn't come. So I'm gonna be reusing Kyle's thrust washers. Should be all good. I mean, we can measure like the the play in the crank if we need to, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, I got everything cleaned out and uh, all marked up and everything. I got the rings on the pistons. The uh, I'm probably gonna take the rods back off the pistons to check the uh, rod bearing clearance, but we're just gonna use some plastic gauge. Real little simple thing. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do it because honestly, I don't know how to do it all that great. So uh, normally Wyatt helps me, he's busy. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle this ourselves. Got the girdle already, got everything cleaned out. Gonna just set the crank in there and then cut some pieces of plastic gauge. And hopefully these oversized bearings are good. It's okay, man. Today you are Google Approved. Google how to do it. Google technician right here. Google how to do it, bro. We'll if, figure it out somehow. Yeah, so if you watch this video and you know how to do it, I don't know. Google don't ask it. us for advice, right? I, I, hope, I hope Google didn't bring you here to learn how to do it because we don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it figured out. Yeah, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be all that bad. I wonder if I should put the thrust washers in it to measure. Literally this little tiny ass thing. <laughs> That's tiny, man. that thing gets squished. So if you choke them down to certain foot pounds and then take it off and check it. Yep. Thing's fancy, bro. Is that the new Milwaukee one? Hell yeah, dude. The digital one? This one's nice, actually, honestly. Like, the click is actually pretty nice on it. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, it's supposed to go like reverse pattern, but. but you, you, you live that YOLO life? Yeah. That YOLO, but not full YOLO. That, it'll be alright. Right, Kyle? It'll be all right. <laughs> all right. See how she squished? You see? Decent, dude. Now we just measure how wide them things are. Uh -huh. And hopefully they're good. Hopefully so, let's see. So I think we want in between 0 .002 and 003. Okay. It looks like we're like right at 002-ish, a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's a little bigger. That's for, Well, that's the good thing is that they're all, good. They're all even, yeah. so. So this looks good. That makes me happy. So now we just gotta, I'm just gonna clean up the plastic gauge on the crank there. And then I'm gonna take, yeah, I'm gonna take the rods back off the pistons just because I put the rings on them. And then we're gonna plastic gauge the rods or the rod bearings and hopefully they're good too. I don't really know what they should be spec out at, but I imagine similar or I'll look online, we'll see. That's the theme of the day. Yeah. Let's look online. I'll Google it. Do you wanna explain what you're doing? Yeah, I'm just making sure that like the rings are in the right locations and like they just move around so easy. I feel like it's kind of hard to... I 
feel like they already moved. Almost done, bro. Almost there. This one's nice and loosey goosey. Might have to it almost went in there already. <laughs> yeah, I might have to have you hold it. This tool is kind of annoying, honestly. Oh, like you said, I'm sure there's better tools for that. You want me to put it up? Pull up? Yeah, push it up, please. Push it up, push it up, push it up. More? Um, I think that's good enough. That should be good. Need to go. It's annoying like, because I feel like this thing... Like when it turns, when you tighten it, like it, yeah, it spins them? It rings. Offset them just a little bit. Mm. So when they move to the... When you tighten it, they go to the right. Yeah. I watched it. There we go. A little chopo. Put it yeah. in work. A little chopo. Tapping her down in there. I think this one should slide in pretty easy. Nice and easy. Yep, so, see? We still need to measure the rod bearing clearances. Um, it's kind of hard. I was going to take the rods off the pistons to measure them, but it's kind of hard because then the piston just kind of floats in the cylinder and if you move the rod at all on the crank, it messes up your reading for the plastic use. So I have a feeling they're going to be okay. So we just went ahead and uh, put the piston rings in there. Um, I got the rings to like 23, 25, um, top ring like 23 ish, bottom ring 25 thou. And, uh, I mean, it's a little bit looser than that. So like they're like bottom ring is a little bit looser, so is the top ring. Cause I mean, sometimes when I file them, like they go a little bit looser. So mm -hmm. went a little loose on the rings cause they're cast nipping pistons. Um, Todd told me and Kyle told me the arrows face towards the transmission side. So arrows are towards the tranny side instead of the uh, timing belt side. It's what they told me. So hopefully it's all good. I'm gonna flip it back over, put the crank in and uh, see what these rod bearings look like. Sounds good. So this one checked out good. Yep. It was in between 0 0.002 and 0 0.0015. Closer to 0 0.002. Yeah. So. Cheer up, Buttercup. You look sad, or are you just cold? Honestly, dude, I was kind of expecting this to be a little bit more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? What were yeah, you bro. expecting? I don't know, dude. I thought this would be so much fun. And then uh, I'm sitting here doing it, and I'm like, honestly, dude, like putting together motors is pretty simple. Uh huh. I mean, like, I can't say shit because it doesn't run yet. But uh huh. I mean, the, the act of like measuring <laughs> the clearances of the plastic gauge, like, yeah. it's super easy. It's just taking measurements, putting things on, taking them off, putting things on, making sure it's clean. You're Mister Clean for the day. That's your main job. Make sure it's really clean. So all the clearances checked out. Yeah, they look good. They looked about the same, like point zero zero two, ish, ish. Ish. Keyword there, ish. Close to point zero zero two. That's the thing about plastic gauge is like you just know ish. You know, I mean, you just know it's not like it's not exact. Hella tight or hella loose. You just know it's ish. Bro, we're all about the hella flush life. You just want it ish. <laughs> Sways. Ready now. Final assembly. Yep. Final assembly and torque on everything. Just gonna put some lube on some of the things here. Lube it up a little bit. <laughs> Was that your elbow or what? Shoulder. It's okay, you're a little bit special. A little? Just a little bit, dude. I'm excited to see how this thing's gonna run. Is this Kyle approved or what? Oh yeah. She won't rip. Wait a minute, bro. Before you rip. Hey, you got them in the right way. Yeah, Todd told me. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. She sucked good. She got the suck. <laughs> <laughs> and then Carlos made this one not number three because number three always has issues. So it's technically not number three. He said that D-Series, like, number threes always have issues. It's, it's a Honda. It's a four-cylinder thing. 
It doesn't actually have a lot of piston slap either. Yeah, and what are you waiting for? You could have this in the car tonight. Honest. Honestly, dude, I'm kind of tired and I'm hungry. <laughs> I knew it. I told him we could get, go get food and, and then like, I bring need to it back. on that pan and like we still gotta do some of the turbo stuff because we're gonna put a, we're just gonna use the log manifold on it and we got a GT30 for it. So. I think Kyle likes it. <laughs> yeah. I hope it lasts a long time, dude. I mean, Hayden wants 500 horsepower out of it now. I would leave 300. it. I'm just yeah. kidding. Yeah, three four, <laughs> I just leave it there. Yeah, we're if probably going to do like three. If it cracks four, just don't push it. Yeah. I think, it I think 300 for now, and then if it lasts a while, maybe turn it Only if it like lasts like a year, then you're like, yeah, fuck it, let's just saying. turn it to 700. <laughs> That's a big jump, buddy. Okay, holy shit. Okay, but like, you're well, not seven. I don't remember exactly where we left off, but the bottom end is all put together. Everything is in, got the oil pump on there, got the oil pin on there, got the pickup on there. I retook this back off, this was on there already just to make sure it had like a fresh piece of silicone on it. So it looks like a newer water pump that I got with this block. Got the water neck thing done on it too. Uh, I have to wait on a uh, sandwich plate, or I'm not really sure exactly. I don't really want to run the feed line out of here because I want to put an oil pressure uh, gauge here. But yeah, I got it moving right along. It's coming out really good. I'm really excited. The motor spins over really good. I'll show you that here in just a second. But I am ready to clean the head that we put the new springs in and then um, insert the head studs onto the block and then torque the head down. It doesn't get bound up anywhere. It feels really good. So really excited to see how this turns out. As you can see, we made a little bit more progress from that time lapse that I was showing you guys. So uh, I left early that day when we were doing the time lapse. Got the head on it though. I got all the valve train stuff on there. Got all the valve lash checked. Got all the timing belt accessory stuff all done up. Got the oil pan back off so I could put the uh, other dipstick tube in it. Got just the other little odds and ends transferred over. So it should be all ready to take it off the engine stand. Put the flywheel on it. I'm gonna put the dizzy on it and then put the clutch on it also. I almost said converter for a second because I'm used to my car. <laughs> but put the clutch on it and then put the tranny on it and then we're gonna go ahead and throw it back in the car. So it's gonna do it for this video. We are gonna stay here tonight and put the motor in. We're gonna make it a separate video for you guys. But I got a whole bunch of footage on building this thing. So if anybody did miss it, it's a Vitara built stock, like 75 millimeter bore. We didn't bore it out or nothing. Uh, went like 23, 25 thou on the, I like went like 23 thou on the top ring, 25 thou on the bottom ring. Plastic gauge, all the bearings. Had to use oversized bearings because of Kyle's crank. All seems really good though. It turns over nice and easy, even with the timing belt and everything on it. So I'm really excited to see how this motor does. And I'm excited to start it up for you guys. So we did get a different turbo and stuff too, but we'll address that in another video. It's gonna be it for this video because we got a motor to put in. So thank you guys. And uh, also, actually, I forgot to mention, I do have a, uh, some of you guys probably didn't watch the video. I don't want to touch these because they're super nasty, but yeah. I got these hearts over here, doing a little giveaway on them. If you guys want to go check it out on the website. I did update it also because I messed up the shipping on the stickers. So I put uh, stickers in some of the old t-shirts on the website, bigger sizes for the old t-shirts, and the stickers are 10 bucks. Before I had them, $10 shipping for some reason. I don't know what happened, but they are $10 now flat. So free shipping in the US, and uh, the giveaway is for only the US also. So go check that out if you're interested. Go check it out on my Instagram. But that's all we got for you guys. Thank you all for watching. We're going to put a motor in. Let's go.